All right, so another uh, projectile motion problem here. We have a field goal kicker, go dogs, uh, kicking a field goal 41.1 meters away, which, which by the way, works out to be about a 45-yard field goal. So this, this is a bomb here. Uh, field goal post is 10 meters up in the air, which is 3.05 meters high. So the point of the field goal, obviously, is we want this thing to come and clear the field goal because, you know, the dogs are playing the Gators and we definitely want a victory here. And this is the final field goal and two seconds left on the clock. And anyway, we have to win. So um, we're going to kick the football uh, with an angle of 43 degrees here, 43 degrees at 21.5 meters per second. And the question is, do the dogs make the field goal and win the game? Or do they miss the field goal and Mr. Birch has to um, cry in his hands because the dogs lost to the Gators again. And that, that's, that's never a good thing. So um, we draw a picture, we label everything, and then we go ahead and write down what we know and what we don't know in the X and Y axis, right? So X, Y, in the X axis, it is always constant velocity. Velocity in the X axis here is going to be the X component of this vector, right? The initial velocity. So it's going to be 21.5 because that's the actual velocity, 21.5, cosine, because cosine for x, cosine 43, right? So this will be a good time for me to come back and remind you here uh, of vectors and their components. So I have a vector, right, the initial velocity vector, 21.5 meters per second, with an angle, and so I just drew in components, an x component and a y component. We're using cosine for the x, 21.5, cosine 43 degrees, because check it out, here's the angle that I know, 43 degrees, opposite, right, is the x component opposite, um, excuse me, adjacent for the x component over the hypotenuse, that would be cosine. Likewise, with the y component, we're going to need to use sine, so the initial velocity in the y is going to equal opposite sine, right, 21.5 sine 43 degrees. All right, so I went ahead and I filled in everything else that we know and what else we're looking for, right? We know delta x, 41.1 meters. We do not know time. In the y-axis, here's the initial velocity again, the acceleration of gravity. Notice the negative because we're calling down negative and up positive, right? The, the ball was initially going upwards. I do not know delta y. Y yes, you're given this, 3.05 meters. I want it after it has gone 41 meters of the x to be at least 3.05 meters. But the question isn't anything about specifically at what position or how long does it take to get to that point. It's will we make the field goal? AKA, this is a comparison problem. So I'm going to solve for delta y and compare that against the height of the field goal. If it's greater than 3.05, then apparently we've made the field goal and we get to win the game. Now, if I shoot straight for what I want, my end goal over here, I know Vy initial, right? Uh, I know acceleration of gravity, but I don't know enough information to solve for delta y. So what I'm going to do is come into the x and use the x-axis to get time. Vx equals delta x over t, constant velocity in the x-axis. So whenever you plug 21.5 cosine 43, which is the initial, vel which is the velocity in the x-axis, uh, whenever you plug that into your calculator, you come out with 15.7 approximately meters per second, um, and then it's 41.1 meters divided by time. So time is going to equal 41.1 divided by 15.7. Had to multiply t to the other side and then divide the 15.7 over. So now I've got t equals 7.07, excuse me, uh, 0 0.707 seconds. So that's how long the ball is in the, in the air whenever it gets to the field goal. Now hopefully it's going to pass over the top field goal bar. So now let's take that t and we can plug it in for time over here. So I can use that time now in the y-axis, seconds. Pick an equation that will work for you. It's going to be our favorite, delta y equals vit plus one-half at squared. Let's go ahead and figure out what our 21.5 sine 43 is. 
Now it comes out to be 14.66, and then we pick an equation. So this equation right here, our favorite, is exactly what we're going to want to use. Right? And now we plug in and solve. Delta Y, what I'm looking for, equals VI. 14.66, the initial velocity that came from that 21.5 sine 43 times my time, 0 0.707, plus 1 half negative 9.81, it looks like I'm going to have to use a little bit of the next line, times 0 0.707, this is T squared. So now it's once again a little bit of calculator work. You come out with 7.9 two meters. So the answer is, of course he did. He cleared it by a long shot. All he needed was uh, 3.05 meters to clear it, and uh, he, he, uh, he more than doubled it there. So, oh yeah, we definitely made this field goal. Dogs go on to beat the Gators. Woohoo!